Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. How you doing? So today we're going to be learning how to set up an ETS2 de dedicated server. So my advice for you guys is to get yourself a VPS. How much do these VPSs cost? I'm paying around £16 a month for my VPS, but you can get them a little bit cheaper. Now, this is the special part I've got for you guys. So if you go to Fife Web. If you go to this website right here, the link, my affiliate link will be down in the description and go to and use my code SkullGamer69. I'll pop it up on screen so you know how to type it and everything. And it also will be down in the description. You will get 50% off your first mum. How great is that? I think it's good. So now you've got your VPS and you're wanting to create something a little bit like this. So let's get started and show you how to do it. So if you've got your VPS and this is what it will look like, something similar to this. So we've just up, opened up the Google Chrome and we're going to type in Steam CMD. And this is how we're going to run the server. So just click on the top link. All these links will be down in the description. So our server is a Windows server. So we're going to click this and then it will download. So just open up wherever it's gone to, which is normally your downloads folder. Now what we're going to do is extract these files. I'm going to browse and I'm going to pop them in this PC local disk C. I'm going to press new folder and call it Steam. CMD, just so we know what it is, click into it, select folder and press extract. Now we can close that window down and you can see this window has popped up. So what we want to do is we want to double click this and this will just create all the necessary files to start downloading the server and everything else. It should almost take a second or two, it shouldn't take that long. And there we go, it's done it. So we just want to press an X on this. So now what we're going to create is a new text document in here and call it update. If I could spell, it doesn't really matter if you spell it wrong or not. It's just so you know what it is. ETS two, and then just press enter on that. And then we're going to type this out or copy and paste it. Leave it down in the description for you. And then we're going to go file, save as, and now where it says save as type, we're going to put all files. This is because we're going to change this into a bat file. So B80 on the end, like so, and press save. Now in here, that's going to create a Windows batch file. Now, if we just update it, press this file, click it, let it run. It might take a couple of minutes, and there we go, it's done. So now it's created a new folder called game servers which is right here, ETS2, bin, win64, and we're wanting to run our server. Now it is going to throw up some errors, but we're just wanting to create some more, file, some more files for us to be able to put our server config into. So we're just going to run it, let it do its thing. Go and grab a coffee. There you go. You see, it's thrown up these errors. That's completely normal. So if we go to our documents now, we'll see this new folder, your truck simulator 2. Right. Now, what you're wanting to do is open up your game on your normal PC. So we're going to slide that off to the side and we're going to open up your truck simulator 2. Now, I'm going to hope that you've already got the console open and everything. If not, and you're not sure how to do it, just let me know down in the comments, join the Discord, and um, we'll help you open the console. It's only, you only change two things in your config file to make it happen. It's a very simple step, a very simple thing to do. So we're just going to continue to game as normal. Yes, I know my wheel's not plugged in just yet. Um, we're going to go over to convoys. Now we're going to just set up a convoy as you would normally. Don't worry about it. None of these settings really matter. But if you are going to have mods in your server, do add them in now. So now we're going to press the tilde key, which is the one next to, next to the one. And we're going to type this in export underscore server underscore package. I'll put this also down in the description and just press enter. And that's going to make the server files for you. And now we can just close out of the game. And now if we go 
over here. So if you go to your documents and then your truck simulator 2, you'll see these files right here, right at the bottom. Just copy them, go over to your VPS, which mine is here. And then you go to documents, your truck simulator 2 in on your VPS and paste these files in here. Copy and replace. Now inside this server config is where you're going to put your name of your server, the description and all things like that. Trucking, just something simple for us. So yeah, just something really simple for us that right there, TGC trucking. And then my description, I'm going to put in my website, full gaming, full gamer. .com. And then just set this up how you want it. Don't worry about the server logon token. We don't need it. And then if you want to add moderators, add them into here. Like right, so I'll do a bit more in-depth video a bit later on how to add moderators and whatnot. Very simple thing to do. So just save that off like so. And now what we want to do is go back to this PC, go back to local C, go to Steam CMD, go to game server, ETS2, bin, win64, and then we're just going to create a shortcut so we'll like right click create shortcut and then we're going to cut this and pop this onto our desktop just for easy access all right so now in theory when we press this button the server should work but we're not done yet so don't be clicking away just just yet right the server is running and it is working but it won't show up in the server list at the moment so what do you need to do? You need to open up some parts. And this is why we don't recommend doing it on your home PC because opening parts can be dangerous. So if we go to the Windows Defender firewall, you will see I've already set up these parts. So we just go to the inbound new rule and you want to open. So we're going to part, press next. But you want to do it for both of these. So TCP and UDP. You can only do one at a time though. So we'd do 27015-27016. Yep, that's correct. And press next. Allow the connection. Next, next. And now I'd just name this 27015-27016 TCP ETS2, because that's the TCP one. And then you'd do that same again for UDP. I'm not going to do this again because as you can see, I've already done that. So when I open up your truck simulator 2 now on my normal computer, and it tells me about my wheel again, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a link down in the description also if you want to uh, grab yourself a Moza wheel. Just helps me out a bit. Where am I even looking? When I go to convoys, continue, and then in this top box, we just type whatever you've named your server. Now it's not going to show at the minute. We need to refresh. We probably could find it somewhere, but let's make it easy for ourselves. And there we have it. That's our server up and running. Join Convoy. We've got an ETS2 server. Now, in another video, I am going to go through and show you how to set it up so it'll auto restart, auto update, and stuff like that. But guys, that is the end of the video. Don't forget about the 50% off your first month when you use my code SkullGamer69 over on Fifey. Fifey. I do struggle with the pronunciation of the website, but they're really good guys. If you've ever got any problems, they saw it out within minutes. That's been my case anyway. I love them. They're great. Go and check them out. The links will be down in the description for everything you need. Guys, thank you for watching. And remember to come back to see more tips and tricks on how to run servers because we're going to be doing a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button and that like button. I catch you later.